Conditional logic is one of the most powerful tools you can use to make your forms more dynamic, flexible, and personalized for your users. In our How to Use Conditional Logic video, we covered some of the ways you can use conditional logic with your forms, but that video only scratches the surface on everything you can do. If you have never used conditional logic before, or want a basic introduction to conditional logic, please check out that video first. In this video, we'll take a look at all of the ways you can use conditional logic to create more powerful forms for your site. I have a product survey form with several fields that I would like to add conditional logic to. I would like this form to gather information on how our existing customers are engaging with our product or give new visitors the option to create a new account. I'll start with a survey field that asks the user the types of forms that they have created with Acme products and another that asks the payment methods that they use. I only want to ask the user about their payment methods if they use payment forms or donation forms. In order to do this, I will need to add two conditional statements to my payment methods field. First, I'll open the conditional logic flyout menu. I can add multiple conditional logic statements by clicking the plus icon. I can also remove statements by clicking the minus icon. For this field to appear, I want to have two separate conditional logic statements. Show this field if any of the following match. What type of forms have you created with Acme products is payment form, and what type of forms have you created with Acme products is donation form. Because I can choose to show this field if any of these conditions are met, my payment field will appear if the user chooses payment form, donation form, or both. You'll notice this field also has an option for the user to select other, I'd like to know which payment method they use if they select other, so I'll add a single line text field that asks the user to specify their payment method, then set the conditional logic to only appear if the choice other is selected. Next, I want to add conditional logic to a survey field that asks the user to rate our product. I would like to give the user an optional choice to give feedback if their rating is less than 5 stars. First, I'm going to assign a numerical value to each star. If I click on the Rate Acme Products field, I can select Bulk Add slash Predefined Choices. If I hold Shift and press the backslash key, I can add a vertical bar next to each choice. Now, whatever I type after this vertical bar will be set as the value for this choice. I'll use the numbers 1 through 5 to assign the value of each choice to its corresponding star. Now I will be able to use these numerical values in my conditional logic statements. I'll add a paragraph text field for the feedback and open the conditional logic flyout menu. To make sure this field only appears if the user rates our products 4 stars or below, I am going to set the conditional logic to show this field if all of the following match. Rate Acme products is less than 5. The 5 here represents the value we assigned to the 5th star a moment ago. With the flexibility of this conditional statement, I can simply change the value to 4 if I only want my feedback field to appear if the rating is 3 stars or lower. If I preview my form, I can see that my feedback field will only appear if the user rates Acme products 4 stars or lower. Finally, if a visitor sees this form but has never used an Acme product, I would like to only present them with a page that gives them the option to create an account. To accomplish this, I will need to add conditional logic to the page breaks on my form so that they appear if the user answers yes or no to the question, are you currently using Acme products? I only want a single page to display if the user answers no, so I will scroll to that section at the bottom of the form and select page break. On the field settings panel, I'm going to enable page conditional logic and set this page to display only if the answer to the question, are you currently using Acme products, is no. Now, if the user already has an Acme products account, this page will not appear. I'll then add the conditional logic needed for the registration fields to appear if the user indicates that they would like to create an account. 
In its current state, the user will still be presented with all pages of my survey, even if they have not used Acme products. To fix this, I simply need to set the page break settings for the other pages to be hidden if the user does not have an account with us. I can do this by simply setting the conditional logic statement for each page break to hide this page if all of the following match. Are you currently using Acme products is no. Thanks to conditional logic, I now have a dynamic survey that will only present relevant information to the user. Fields will be shown or hidden based on the user's selection as they complete the survey. Furthermore, the user will be given an entirely separate form if they have no experience with our products. Conditional logic is a powerful and flexible tool that can greatly improve the user experience with your forms. If you'd like to read more about conditional logic, please check out our detailed documentation on the Gravity Forms website. For more guides on using Gravity Forms, be sure to check out our video tutorials page. From everyone on the Gravity Forms team, thank you for watching.